my project Matrix of Landlord visiting Estonia. And now we are in Schloss Paul Castle, and the idea of my visit here is to kind of look to the manners as a tourist product and to speak with the local people, owners or managers of the attraction. So today I am speaking with owner of Schloss Paul Castle and he is also the president of the Association of Historical Buildings and Manners of Estonia, Mr. Andrei Dvorianino. Hello, Mr. Dvorianino. Bonjour, Monsieur. <laughs> Bonjour. Could you please tell a little bit about the history of this place? Uh, the history of this place is uh, very interesting. And uh, uh, <clears throat> this castle, Schlossfall, was built in 1833. And the first owner, Alexander von Benkendorf, who was the best uh, friend of Nicholas the first. In the Russian Empire. In the yeah. Russian Empire. And uh, <clears throat> you see, this is the uh, new gothic building. It's a very well-known uh, architect, Hans Takenschneider, and this is the first uh, uh, building by this architect. If you know the uh, cathedral of Isaac in, yes, in, 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 in St. Petersburg, in the Peterhof, uh, Palace of Marines, this is the same, same architect. And uh, in the Schlesfall, this is uh, the first work. So <clears throat> it's a very, very, very unique place. Uh, and uh, yeah, and which is also very interesting in this place is uh, <clears throat> on 1833 when the Nicolas, Tsar Nicolas I uh, came for an opening, was first time presented in this room behind us, first time the national anthem. So it's uh, quite uh, quite interesting, uh, interesting thing. Yeah, important. I would like to say <laughs> important. Okay, uh, you are owner of this place. How many years you are here? Uh, let's say already uh, ten years, but uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the renovation took like uh, three, four years, and uh, yeah, now we. We own this place uh, like, like 10 years, 10, 11 years. Uh, I will uh, ask you a little bit later about what you are offering to the visitors, yes, but uh, uh, coming back to the previous question, if there will be possibility to start everything from the beginning, uh, would you repeat this or that was because you know, renovate historical buildings that's painful, of course, yes, it's uh, taking money, trouble, yeah. No, I would say it, uh, it's a very interesting process, but uh, uh, I never thought before that uh, you can, uh, you know, be owner of the manor of, of, of Castel. It was never been in my in my plans, but uh, this had, this place and this castle had so much history, so interesting that uh, it was. Um, for, for me, it was a very interesting uh, process, and uh, with this special place, uh, I really enjoyed the whole, the whole uh, process. Uh, uh, yeah, whole, whole process. Interesting. Okay, and what do you offer for visitors now? Because it's really uh, well. I have seen different birds in Latvia, in Estonia, also some of them in Estonia, or few in Estonia, but. Uh, I am uh, the first time inside of this building, yes, I have been about 30 times just uh, visiting the Kerala or waterfall and uh, just walking around, but not inside. Uh, what do you, do you offer now for visitors? Uh, in Schlesfall we have a boutique hotel, we have a museum, we have a lot of different uh, exhibitions uh, from around the world. Uh, we have very nice uh, restaurant. We have uh, sea, 50 minutes walk uh, to the sea. We have the river, we have uh, 80 hectares of park, we have uh, golf courses uh, around. So, this is a really <coughs> uh, a place uh, for, for, for relaxing and uh, enjoying uh, yourself. Uh, and also, that's not so far from Thailand. Yes, Thailand is about. Is it? It's uh, 25 kilometers 25 from, from Central to 
take uh, 25 minutes, so it's, uh, it's uh, nearby. Yeah, okay, that's also important. And, and especially on this COVID time, uh, we have, um, we understand that uh, people starting to appreciate this more and more, to get out of the town, mm -hmm. out of the city, to spend more time in the parks and uh, in, in fresh air and uh, uh, have time to ourselves. You already mentioned what you are offering, but uh, if I would like, I'm a tourism person, yes, so, and uh, in tourism also studies, usually are asking five unique selling points, yes, you should be different from others, yes, and what is, will be, you know, if I ask you, what do you think, what is your, uh, Schloss Paul Castle unique selling point, what it will be different from others? The, the first one is uh, uh, location, what I mentioned, it's, it's a very important, the river, waterfall, the sea. The second one, uh, actually, it's uh, best renovated uh, building in Estonia in 2010, and uh, I believe uh, even by, uh, by now. Uh, the third is the, the huge history of this place. It's, uh, it's a must-see place. This is the, the, the main, uh, main point. It's, it's a landmark. I would like to add one more. Uh to say, um, uh, if you if you if you even be in, uh, in Schleswig-Holstein, you have been in Estonia. Okay, <laughs> that, that's 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 good. But I would like to point uh, one more thing, and that's its uh, quality. Yes, the quality. It's a quality level here, and what we have actually seen already today. Um, I'm quite uh, surprised positively. Yes, because um, yeah, you can see everything is. Uh, um, Lot of details. Details. Uh, well. Politeness, uh, cleanness, uh, everything, yes, so everything like, like it should be, absolutely. Yeah, this is a, uh, maybe, the, I mean, this is also the reason, because we have uh, so many uh, state visitors, so we have uh, our guest is being uh, King of Holland, uh, President of uh, Italy, President of Georgia, Presidents, lot of Presidents, lot of Prime Ministers, we have uh, very often, we have, uh, yeah, we can talk the, the state visitors because of this uh, special place and, uh, and uh, yeah, big changes happened in the uh, last two years because uh, COVID 19. Yes, so uh, COVID 19, three door opportunity. What do you think? I think it's, uh, it's also opportunity, and the reason, but uh, <clears throat> we feel here that uh, the people uh, they actually like uh, to have uh, more privacy, they want to spend uh, more time out of the city. And this is the idea of place. This is like Eden. This is like a, a paradise. Mm -hmm. More theoretical question. That's also that's what I'm asking. Uh, at least everywhere I, where, where I'm visiting, actually. But uh, you know that, um, and you are connected very strongly with uh, historical monuments, historical buildings, and uh, there are like two main streams uh, for renovation of the historical buildings. One is to renovate it uh, as authentically, yes, like it was before, using the same materials or very close to the same materials. Or uh, the second way is just, yes, we are keeping the shape, we are keeping the uh, format or, or size, but uh, using uh, modern materials and uh, which way do you support? Of course, this is authentically, yes, so this is all your building and, and renovated as close as possible for that time. But, uh, you know, in Estonia also we can see another direction when these um, historical buildings are there using new materials, modern materials. What will be your opinion? It uh, <clears throat> depends on the importance of the building. Because in Estonia we have also like uh, 1,200 uh, manors, and uh, it doesn't make any sense, you know, to restore the manor, which is uh, somewhere in the fields. Nobody can visit it, and uh, so on, so on. So <clears throat> it's not uh, actually, and uh, it not present any architectural like a value. It's like like an old building. If it's just old building, let it be. You know, the old building, or I think it's, it's okay to use uh, uh, today uh, materials and uh, so on. But uh, <clears throat> of course, it's a uh, building uh, very 
very big importance of, of architecture and uh, you know this is uh, to be done I think uh, <coughs> uh, as most close or it was in, uh, in the old times of course also you have to have the opportunity to use you know the, the ventilation and uh, you know something you you can be only with chimneys and uh, you know and the fire sure. nowadays uh, you still have to you know we're getting our uh, uh, heating uh, energy from the ground so we're adapting uh, this, <coughs> this type of things but uh, but uh, we would like uh, still keep the the uh, the architecture and uh, the trying to use the same mat materials that uh, was used, used before because it's interesting uh, uh, for the visitors also. Sure, and also uh, to feel the senses of the place, the sense of place, that's very important just to... Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. But it's actually, it's totally it depends on uh, what kind of building and what is the purpose we have here at uh, the museum. It's, uh, very popular museum. We have a uh, lot of uh, tourists. Uh, they, are, they are coming to see the, uh, the historic, uh, historical look and uh, feel the materials and uh, so on, so on. Next question. Actually, it's great if um, for, for some tourist destination or some tourist attraction there are some symbols what's rep representing the place. For example, if we are seeing for example, angels, angels uh, and Runda Alpalus, for example, yes, or Rose Garden and Runda Alpalus, or for example, Apple is very close connected with Carne, Moesia, Neatsenes, yes. What, what symbols, uh, what's, what would be a symbol reflecting your Schlossfall? Yes. The name is Schlossfall. The fall means the waterfall. Okay. We have the waterfall here. This is the symbol of this place. Very easy answer, by the way. Okay. Mm. What would be the sense you would like visitors to take away from this place? Okay, they are coming, they are leaving, they are paying money, and they uh, leaving, and then they pay money, and then they are leaving. With what feelings and senses you would like to have your guests are leaving this place? Uh, the first of all, uh, <clears throat> uh, this place, uh, this castle, it's not a big. It's uh, more like. It's like a home. So um, we <clears throat> like uh, that our guests they, they, they feel themselves like a home and they feel like they coming to home or they leaving the home. So with idea to come back. Yes, yes. Very welcome, of course. Um, and but well, that's a usual question because there are some stereotypes that every palace castle have devils or ghosts or uh, witches running around. What about your place? Uh, <clears throat> we don't have uh, such a thing because uh, we have the uh, real history. We have real history. Places which not have the real history, they need to find you know ghosts and uh, you know the, the funny thing. We, we, we have the real things. To create the stories, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, and that's not easy to manage all this, yes. When you are taking uh, power from where you are taking power, just to continue to do what you are doing and just to, uh, yeah. Uh, we have a very good team, yeah. We have a very good team and uh, people who are working here, they enjoy what they are doing and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, they are happy to be here, so. I'm very happy also to be here, yes, and um, I would like to say, uh, for the first um, uh, interview, I think uh, we already exchanged information, yes, and that's, that's enough for the first time, and uh, thank you very much for your time, and, and uh, uh, doing what you are doing, because, uh, as we agreed before, we are sitting in one boat, yes, more or less, yes, in different countries, but we are trying to, uh, to cooperate, that's first of all, cooperation is key world in tourism, but also we would like to um, uh, distribute information about historical buildings and to keep these historical buildings and, and explain, yes, because there are so many, 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 many places and stories and uh, stereotypes, yes, but it's very great to be in a real one. And um, great job done, and I hope more uh, and more travels will visit this place, uh, Schloss Paul Castle, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.